Good morning, today you're joining me on a road trip. I'm doing a consumer science test. Can I do 200 miles in a car that is currently telling me I've got 171 miles range? I think I can. I'm in the Mondeo TDCI on my way down to uh, Shepton Mallow. Can we make it on 30 quid's worth of diesel there and back? So I've reset my MPG counter. I've got 89 miles to get to the chap's house. Obviously 89 miles back, so I've got 180 miles to go. I'll probably get lost. I'll probably have a coffee. Let's call it 200 miles. My digital readout is currently saying I've got 169 miles in the tank. So I've got to find 30 miles from somewhere. Let's do it. Come on, Mondeo. Five minutes later. I'm sitting at 65 miles an hour and my current MPG is telling me 46.3, but that's obviously climbing because I've only just reset it and I've only just got on the motorway. 46.4. I think we can get at least 50 out of this car today. I think we might get more than that. Anyway, time to catch up on a few podcasts. I'll check in with you shortly. I've been trying to understand the driving ideas underneath this globalist utopian tyranny that seems to be developing from the top down and that maybe the planet should only have 500 million people on it you know controlled by some top-down authority that makes bloody well sure that no one's consuming too much and so when i look at ideas like that that first assumption you know the planet has too many people on it it's like i don't like to hear people say that because when i hear that i think okay buddy who exactly are you thinking about getting rid of? Okay then, just coming up to my junction, I'm about to come off at junction 15 of the M5 and my car is saying 63.2 miles to the gallon was achieved on the motorway. Yes, I've been going fairly slow. I've been sitting behind, um, mostly I've been behind a transporter that's had Range Rovers on it and I've been analyzing the rear design of two different Range Rovers for about an hour. But sometimes it's nice to just chill like that. You don't all need to be storming down the fast lane. Although I noticed all the electric cars are. Maybe late for their next charge. Anyway, so it'll drop now a little bit as I've got to come off the motorway, but 63 is pretty impressive for uh, the run so far. A few moments later. It's a bit windy, but I've just driven this car two hours to go and buy a set of wheels for the gold Volvo that I bought. Would you like to see my miles per gallon across a two hour journey? I'll show you. 61 miles per gallon. That is not bad at all. 10 seconds later. Canisto wheels for my Volvo, 17 inch with good tires. Facebook Marketplace, a few of you sent me links to these wheels. You knew I was gonna buy them. Not sure which car they're gonna go on yet, but let's be honest, I have a few Volvo 850s knocking around, don't I? So I'll use them for something. So we shall see. Right, going up a hill now, it's gonna drop. I reckon we can get this home on 58. But if it gets home on 60, I'll be well impressed. This is interesting. Because I am now trying to avoid the clean air zone in Bristol, I've had to come a completely different route to get me back to the motorway, which has taken me and my car through tiny residential areas where I really would have preferred not to have driven because they're small. All these people are doing the same thing. So we're now clogging up all of these back roads. Also, can I just add, if anyone from Bristol Council is watching, the rubbish on this road, this little rat run country lane, the rubbish at the side of the roads is unbelievable. If you want to clean up the environment, a better way to do it, instead of just charging people to drive through certain areas, is to actually clean up the environment. How about that? I'm actually having to mount a curb here to get past a lorry. Welcome to the future. It's retarded. I don't think you're allowed to say that. No, I think I am in that context because retarded just means backwards. I'm not using it as a slur against anyone. What a joke. Look at all the rubbish. Sort out the rubbish, Bristol. Don't worry about your clean air. Sort out your clean streets first. It's disgusting. Your traffic's horrendous. And now you've made it worse by diverting traffic outside the city by charging them to drive through a certain area. You've done nothing for your air quality. You're virtually on the sea. 
Your air quality's got to be amazing. It's a joke, isn't it? It's a joke. What we've got there, we've got scooters, look, scooters there. No one using them, just all waiting for a bus. I can't believe how much rubbish there is at the side of the roads. Honestly, I'm not exaggerating. It, it, bits of it look like a third world country, but you've got a clean air zone. Final stretch now, one more junction of the motorway to go. It's sitting at 62.1 miles to the gallon now. I'm gonna lose a little bit as I come off the motorway and head to my house. That's pretty damn good. That's at an average speed of, I reset that as well before we left, 45 miles an hour. So that means I managed to get 250 miles range out of a car that was saying 175 miles range. Couldn't do that in an electric car, could you? I have driven fairly carefully. I have driven as economically as possible. I have tried not to touch the brakes and to cruise across roundabouts and all the stuff you're meant to do when you're hypermiling. If you don't know what hypermiling is, if you don't know how to drive your car economically, well, basically, flow with the roads and don't touch your brakes. Keep your speed down, sit in the slipstream of lorries and don't touch your brakes. Use your gears carefully, use a high gear, use the highest gear possible without stalling the engine, and don't use your cruise control. Come on, 62.8, can I get it to 63 before I get home? It's gonna live and die on this roundabout. If I can get across this roundabout without having to stop, then we might just do it. Which lane do I choose? Which lane do I choose? I'm gonna choose this lane, was that a mistake? Come on, there's a white car going across. I got this. Oh, come on, van! Unbelievable. We slowed almost to a stop and now we're crawling because of a Volkswagen transporter called Stan. Literally got a sticker on the back of his van that says Stan. Well, Stan, you cost me my 63. Right, I'm claiming it. I'm home. 62.9 miles to the gallon. That is impressive for a almost 20 year old car with 224,255 miles on the clock.